everyone welcome back to my channel this is my third video that i filmed today so i am wearing the same makeup the same clothes i'm so sorry about that but the way that my life has been lately with a toddler that just turned four she's still a toddler i think she is and then my one-year-old i'm constantly chasing behind them half of the week i don't look put together so we're just gonna take advantage of today that I was able to get myself put together and film three videos so that I could have content for you guys. Today's video is going to be an interesting one. It's going to be fragrances that I blind bought and they were a complete fail. So I have five fragrances to show you guys and I had to make this video today. I was gonna wait and you know do it film on a different day but I actually already sold two of them. I went ahead and I opened up my Mercari, which I used years ago, and I posted these today on Mercari and two of them already sold, so that's awesome because you know, you sell some perfumes and you can buy some perfumes. So the first scent that I'm going to be talking about is one that I loved all the other scents and then I thought that I needed this one in my collection and the first spray of this I just thought to myself what the hell is this and this is Max Velvet Teddy I just sold it today it's one of the ones that sold uh, this is how the bottle looks I'm not going to spray it because I already know I don't like it the only thing that I get from this is honey and like a horse stable, like a farm. That's what I smell when I sniff this perfume. When I sprayed this, I said, oh, I cannot. It's supposed to be tobacco and honey, which I should have already known that that's way out of my zone of perfumes. But I just wanted to try new stuff and the main accords in this perfumer honey sweet white floral floral vanilla warm spicy powdery green amber and musky and the top notes are tobacco blossom ginger bergamot the middle notes are honey vanilla orchid and mimosa and the base notes are tonka bean musk and papyrus 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 i don't know if i'm saying that right but i really wanted to like this because I don't like to put scents down. I know that something could smell really good at one point of the year and then it could totally smell bad at a different weather or a different time of the year or so many things play into how you smell a fragrance. So I just kept giving it a chance that day. When it fully dried down, it wasn't as bad as when I first sprayed it. But to me, there's just nothing cute about this, like on me. I'm pretty sure that someone else Today I'm actually getting a little bit better of a smell than the first time that I smelled it. Maybe you just have to grow into it, but I'd rather sell it and let someone else give it love. So this one is going bye-bye. The next one that was a fail for me is Oscar de la Renta Bella Rosa. And this is Rose Floral Woody Citrus Powdery White Floral Patchouli Soft Spicy Amber and Iris. So, this, the top notes are freesia, mandarin, orange, pink, pepper. When it opens up, I like it. It smells good. The middle notes are pink, rose, jasmine, and orris. Middle notes, I liked it too. The dry down, the base notes, is patchouli, amber, and sandalwood. I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of patchouli. I have a lot of problems with it where if it's prominent in a scent, I don't like it. I do smell the pink pepper, the rose. I have other fragrances with pepper and they don't bother me, but in this scent, it just kind of like tickles my nose in like a weird way. And it's just too musky, too much patchouli. When I have a rose scent, I like it to be like soft rose, like girly rose. This is like a spicy rose. Syrupy, spicy. Not the type of rose that I like. I couldn't get used to it. I used it maybe twice and it just wasn't a scent that I like. This next perfume, I shouldn't even try and say the name. I don't even want to try and say it. This is Hermes and this is 
the ombre that already sounded horrible the ombre this i'm gonna put i'm gonna put the name because i can't say it um this is supposed to be amber vanilla patchouli woody powdery and balsamic i just got this because it was when i was in tampa they said that it was a great fall scent all i get from this is mandarin the notes are amber vanilla labdanum and patchouli again patchouli i think my problem is patchouli this smells pretty unique it's a very very unique fragrance i don't have anything like this in my collection it smells like an orange but i just don't see myself wearing this i do get the amber but i don't get much vanilla when i smell it it's just like amber and mandarin for me and it's just not my favorite i'm pretty sure someone can rock it and it will smell amazing but i'd rather sell it the next one that i got and the problem here is patchouli as well i do have fragrances that have patchouli for example my, my all-time favorite gucci guilty has patchouli in it but it's not so noticeable but this is angel muse i found this at ross and i believe i got it for 20 dollars and I really wanted to love this because it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I'm not gonna sit here and say that it smells bad because it does not. Very unique, very gourmand. It smells like chocolate, like hazelnut chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and read the main court. This is woody, sweet, patchouli, nutty, earthy, warm, spicy, aromatic, chocolate, balsamic, and citrus. And I do smell all of that like when this first opens up like when you spray it it is pink pepper and grapefruit and I smell that on this and it smells amazing instantly maybe in like not even a minute or after a minute you get the hazelnut it smells just like hazelnut you just literally feel like wow this is it takes you on like this crazy it just shows you how fragrance can be so interesting but then the patchouli comes out i like vetiver i don't really mind that but the patchouli it just makes it a little bit too strong for me especially living here i'm pretty sure somewhere in the winter or fall with like nice crisp weather and you put this on and i'm pretty sure that it's going to smell amazing but where i live right now it loses the it's just so beautiful when it loses it because it's so hot here and then all you smell is patchouli like i don't want to walk around smelling like patchouli is too strong but this is a beautiful scent and after i move from here if i go somewhere where there are seasons and i could feel the changes in the seasons i would be interested in trying this out again and i don't want to keep it because perfume does go bad so i'd rather sell it to somebody that's going to give it use the last one that i got it's a pricey one, but I did get it in one of those Sephora sampler sets. And I just can't get with it. I thought that I liked it, and I picked it out. And no matter how much I try to like it, I can't. And that is Juliet Has a Gun Vanilla Vibes. This one already sold on my Mercari. I, play, I put it there today. And it already sold, and it was actually a man that bought this and now that I'm thinking about it this would probably smell amazing on a man I should have made my husband try it out before I sold it but I love the bottle the colors are so beautiful I wanted this to be like a I went for it because of the because of the vanilla but then I what I liked about it was that it kind of reminds me of like a beachy vanilla so I wanted to try it out and i picked it but there's something about this that i can't wear it and i think i know what it is i think it's the salt note in it i feel like i don't do too good with that because i also wanted to buy the olympia or Olymp olympia by paco raban raban i'm so sorry with the pronunciation but I wanted to try that one and I bought a, a sample of it, like a little vial of it. And as soon as I sprayed it on my skin, I got the vibes that I got from this. 
and that has salt in it as well so i think that the salt no even though it sounds amazing and i would love it i don't think that it does good with my skin so this smells good when i let it dry down on clothes but if it goes on my skin i feel like it's too much my kids are getting very rowdy and i need to wrap this up but this is vanilla salty powdery sweet amber marine warm spicy woody balsamic and musky what i get from it is definitely vanilla salty amber warm spicy woody i think i get those notes the top note is salt middle notes are vanilla absolute orchid and then the base notes are tonka beans sandalwood musk and benzoin it has like a very beachy vibe to it which i really like those types of smells but again i think the salt is what throws me off so i am happy that i found a new home for it i'm going to be mailing it out tomorrow so that is why i wanted to get this video out of the way those are my five fail blind buys for today i hope you guys like these videos if you haven't subscribed please do so i am right now really having so much fun with fragrances and i just wanted to join that community because i love the community everyone on the fragrance community for the most part is very nice i love how everyone talks in the comments about fragrances and it's just like positive vibes so again if you do like one of these fragrances I am not bashing them at all they just don't smell good on me I personally wish that every single fragrance would smell good on me because I love trying new perfumes and a lot of times when you spray it or you smell it on someone else you wish that it would smell like that on you but it just doesn't work out so yeah these are the ones that just didn't work out for me I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Um, this one is Angel Muse.